that's the uh, second house in on the left hand side on Du Bois Street that uh, she built a house there. And I thought it was interesting, in April 1st of 1888, and it was Easter, and Annie says, the Wauquill River is very high, and it's all over the road at the Muddy Kill. And that uh, Muddy Kill, of course, is the, is the little stream just down below where you go into the recycling place. And then she said, our island is about all underwater. So, Frida, if you have anything to tell about the churches? Um, not much, except that this church um, was built in the 1870s, I believe, and it burnt down in December the 23rd, 1888. And um, they came round to Simon Du Bois asking him for donations to rebuild. And he said he would give them $50, I believe, if they didn't go into debt and if they built it as it was. So um, uh, he was one of the first contributors to get it rebuilt. Um, and here we are now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, originally, uh, originally, they went to the New Harlem Church. And of course, uh, when, the, uh, when Andy and Ida were small, of course, they went to the Galeville Church. But uh, it was in uh, December of 1887 that they joined the Wolfgang Church. And Annie was active in the Republican Party. And uh, in September 1922, just shortly after the women got the chance to vote, by the uh, Board of Elections elected her a member of the Republican County Central Committee for the first district of the town of Shawnee. And then in the census of 1925, you see they had a census back then too, uh, she was made an enumerator. And there again, in some of those albums, you'll find a copy of that uh, enumerator slip that she had with District 1 of Tanishango, and it was signed by Florence E. S. Knapp, the Secretary of State. And Annie and Ida were charter members of the Walking Women's Club. And Simon, who was one of the original directors of the Walk Hill National Bank and the Walk Hill Savings and Loan. And then in the 30s, when times were real bad. The directors of the Walk Hill Bank had put up $30,000 so that the Walk Hill Bank never closed. And then after that time, it was reorganized and we find that uh, C. Everett Twilley became the new president of the bank. And some of you folks remember C. Everett Twilley. And of course, Guard, he was our first fire chief in Walk Hill. He was a superintendent of highways, and he was a postmaster during the Theodore Roosevelt administration. <laughs> and uh, then Annie, she died in 1930. Simon died in 1932. And Guard died in 1922. And Ida lived with Ida Mae Ressler for 30 some years and she died in 1954. But they, the four of them, hey, they had a busy life and they seemed to enjoy it. Experiences of Mary and um, Susan. Um, I don't know if you want to say anything, but she is another side of the family, and she's brought some photographs of um, Ob uh, Church and the Squires. That's another side of the family with some jewelry pieces, and uh, I just want to welcome you too. Okay. Did you want to say something? No. I feel like a foreigner now. <laughs> 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 
mother used to date her father. <laughs> uh -oh. They were related, and I thought how scandalous that was. And really, they did vary even closer than that. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> uh, my great grandmother was Margaret Du Bois Church, and she was the daughter of. Maria Lefebvre and Simon Du Bois. Now, I'm not positive how that, uh, what connection this is, but I think they were sister-in-laws, the woman you were reading the diary from. Mm -hmm. um, she, would, uh, she died in 1915, I think. Now, I do have some things that are hers. This is a locket that belonged to her sister, Myra Squires. Um, this is her husband. You can pass that around. It's quite pretty. Um, <laughs> maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> There's a teapot over there. It's called um, Fancy is this, Gowden. Is this Mary Squires? Yeah, that, I think oh, that is oh, Mary Squires. Oh, and that's her husband. Daniel. Uh, yeah, Daniel Squire. Yeah, because we, we have a picture over there of Do you the, think that's him? We have a picture over there of the memorial over in the Walk Hill Valley Cemetery of the, of the big monument. I thought it was uh, my grandmother, Margaret, but then when I looked at it, it's not the same. And then we have a, a Mary Squire, she lived at, uh, with Simon and Annie for three years after Daniel died. And then she came to live with my grandmother. <laughs> yes, because when she died, my but she my great grandmother. She lived with my great grandmother, and then when she died, my grandmother was had power of to or was the executor for her estate, and that's yes. how we got all this stuff. That's what I was asking. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. I, I have one other thing I'll bring up here. That I think. died. 